in this video i will introduce you with operational amplifier ICs and will show you the equivalent circuit of an operational amplifier and its ideal characteristic lm741 and lm324 ICs are the most widely used ic in case of operational amplifier application this is the lm741 operational amplifier ic it has total eight legs see on top uh, on top of it it has a hole this will be our terminal one this will be our terminal two this is our terminal three and this is our terminal four see in case of this sim uh, op amp we can see only five legs but if i take the upside down i will see there are total eight legs so this is our terminal five this will be our terminal six this will be terminal seven and this will be our terminal eight okay so an operational ampli lm741 ic has total eight legs in which it will take two input signal and one output signal two supply voltage two terminal for offset null and one is never used so this is the schematic or diagram of 741 ic in which it will take one and it will use one and five as offset null it will connect with positive supply in terminal number seven it will connect with negative power supply in terminal number four we will apply two input first one is inverting input or negative input at terminal number two and it we will apply positive input or non-inverting input at terminal number three okay we will take the output from terminal number six and terminal number eight is never used all this input output or the supply voltage are applied with respect to ground terminal okay now i will show you the equivalent circuit of an operational amplifier if you recall the model of an amplifier you will see that we, we apply a low voltage signal vi as a result ii or input current flows we can deduce the thevenin equivalent resistance with respect to the input terminals which is known as input resistance ri this input voltage is amplified by an amount of a which we sh show with an with a voltage dependent voltage source a b i and we can deduce output resistance r o out this is the resistance seen from the output terminals or the thevenin equivalent resistance seen from the output terminal and after that we take the output voltage thus in the similar way we can model our operational amplifier but in case of this circuit contains only a single input voltage but operational amplifier takes two input first one is known as non inverting input vp this vp is applied with respect to ground terminal and second one is negative or inverting input this is also applied with respect to ground okay Th the operational amplifier takes the difference of these two voltage vi is equal to the difference of vp and vi okay therefore after that this input resistance or the resistance between two input terminals after that this operational this operational amplifier will amplify this input voltage with after that the operational amplifier multi will multiply this input voltage with the gain of the operational amplifier which we will show you with the voltage dependent voltage source a b i after that we will get our output or thevenin equivalent resistance as seen from the output terminal after that we will take our output voltage see the, the operational amplifier is biased with a, sing, a positive supply voltage and with a negative supply voltage now look at the schematic of operational amplifier the leg number two is used to apply the inverting input the leg number three is used to apply the non-inverting non input output is taken from the terminal number six and the positive voltage is applied in terminal number seven and the negative voltage is applied in terminal number four and all these voltages are applied with respect to ground that means one in 
end will connect with this terminal and another is with ground one is connected with this terminal and another is with ground one is connected with this terminal and another is with ground and our output voltage will be equal to a into vi here vi is the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal if we want to this is the symbol of an operational amplifier in which it will contain three legs this positive terminal indicate the no non inverting input and the voltage that is applied in this terminal is vp the negative terminal indicate the inverting input sorry this is non inverting and this is inverting so the voltage that will be applied at this terminal will be our vn the output voltage is taken from this terminal and we bias this operational amplifier with this two separate bias voltage as an operational amplifier is also a amplifier therefore it will hold on some property of an amplifier in case of ideal operational amplifier it has infinite input resistance that means this ri will be infinity when the resistance become infinity that means these two terminal will act like an open circuit that means i can replace this ri with an that means i can that means i can remove this ri from the terminal 2 and 3 and this will behave like an open circuit in case of ideal operational amplifier it has output resistance which is equal to zero that means i can replace this resistance with a short circuit okay so this is the model of an ideal operational amplifier one more thing is that it has a an open loop gain of infinity as the input acts like an open circuit therefore it will draw no current that means the current that is flowing through the non inverting terminal is zero and also the current that is flowing through inverting terminal is also zero because no current can flow in an open circuit but in case of practical operational amplifier this ri is not infinity rather it is very high which is equal to 100 kilo ohm which can be equal to 100 kilo ohm to 10 giga ohm in case of practical operational amplifier this ro is not zero rather it is very it is a small but it can be it can be 10 ohm to 100 ohm and in case of practical operational amplifier the gain is not infinity but it is very high it can be 100 k to 100 mega okay that's it thank you <laughs>